am Dr. Romano, Professor of Organic Chemistry here at Romano Scientific in New York, and I am here today with Professor Louis Blois. He's a mathematician, and he's going to go over some really great problems to help you for the DAT and the old exam. For more problems, you can go to the Math Destroyer and see the other questions created by Professor Blois. All right, Professor, show us what you got. Okay, this set of problems has to do with the, the distance formula, and let's just go with the distance formula first. The distance between points x1, y1 and x2, y2 is given by this formula. Distance equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus 1 quantity squared. So it's the difference between the x value squared, the difference between the y value squared. And here is the problem. In the figure to the left, what is the perimeter of square a, b, c, d? All right, well, we want the perimeter of it, which means we're going to add up the length, the side lengths, of each of the sides of the square. Well, since a square is composed of four equal sides, all we have to do is apply the distance formula between two adjacent sides, and we will get the uh, distance of one of the uh, sides. So let's see. The distance uh, AD is going to be the square root of the, dis the difference between the x values, 3 minus 0 squared, 3 minus 0 squared, plus the difference in the y value, 0 minus 3 squared, 0 minus 3 squared. And what's that going to be? The square root of 3 squared plus 3 squared, that's 9 plus 9, that's the square root of 18. Okay, which if we want to simplify that, uh, let's just review our simplification. The square root of 18 is equal to the square root of 9 times the square root of 2, which is 3 times the square root of 2. Now remember, that's just the length of one of the sides. We want the perimeter. So the perimeter is going to be 4 times the length of one of the sides, 4 times 3 square root of 2, which is then going to be 12 times the square root of 2. Okay, very straightforward. Second question, in the same figure, what is the area of the square A, B, C, D? Well, the area is simply one of the sides squared. So, what do we have? We already found out what one of the sides squares uh, is, is square root of 18. So this is going to be the square root of 18 squared. So the area of this square is 18. All right, now, this is a completely different problem that doesn't have anything to do with this uh, diagram, but it's one that could very well show up. Which of the following points is at the greatest distance from the point 1, 1? And we have a series of points here. Well, the only way to solve this, we're going to use the distance formula. So let's apply the distance formula between each of these points at 1, 1 as we go down the line here. We can dispense with the square root because if we know what, if the value under the square root is greatest, that's going to be the greatest distance. So let's look at this. Uh, the distance formula will give us the difference in the x values, 6 minus 1 squared, plus the difference in the y values, 6 minus 1 squared. So that's 5 squared plus 5 squared, 25 plus 25, and that's equal to 50. And we can move at a more efficient uh, rate here. Uh, let's do the same thing for the second one, negative 3, negative 1 squared, plus negative 4, negative 1 squared. This is negative 4 squared, which is 16, and negative 5 squared, which is 25, and this gives us 41. All right, next one. Negative 2, negative 1 is neg negative 2, negative 1 squared, plus negative 6, negative 1 squared. That gives us uh, negative 3 squared, which is 9, and negative 7 squared, which is 49, and that gives us 58. We're almost done. And this was negative 6, negative 1 squared, plus 5, negative 1 squared. That gives us ne negative 7 squared is 49. 5 minus 1 squared is 16, and that gives us 4, 5, uh, 65. And finally, negative 5, negative 4, we have negative 5, negative 1 squared, plus negative 4, negative 1 squared. That's going to be negative 6 squared, which is 36, plus negative 5 squared, which is 25, and that's going to give us 3, 4, 5, 61. So, looking at the set of numbers, 
which of these points is at the greatest distance from 1, 1? It's the one that gives us the largest value under the square root. That's 65 in the distance formula. So negative 6, 5 is the point that's at the greatest distance to the point 1, 1, the distance formula. Very well done, as usual. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that on how to use the distance formula. All right, good luck. I'll see you in study group. Bye-bye.